Nos Estados Unidos, o Ministério It Is Written, está escrito, ganhou 11 prêmios tele por programas como The Hero e Great Bible Characters Solomon. Ambos foram honrados com prêmios de prata e bronze na categoria Television Craft, entre outras. Apresentado por Robert Costa, escrito está It Is Written em espanhol, ganhou dois prêmios de ouro na categoria Social Video Craft, Editing and Non-Broadcast General Religion Spiritual, com o seguinte vídeo. Greetings, dear partners. It's such a pleasure to share with you what God is doing to the ministry of Escrito Está. This has been a very active and rewarding year in Soul Wing. Thanks to your support, we have been able to, to reach communities in the jungles of Guatemala, facing different challenges, like not having access to a basic cup of clean water or access to portable radios where they can listen to the good news of the gospel in their native language. By God's grace, several thousand people now have access to clean water and solar battery radios to listen to the message of salvation translated into Kekchi, one of the Mayan languages. The Holy Spirit is preparing the hearts for a great final harvest. I invite you to come with me to Costa Rica and Nicaragua. Preparation began in the month of September last year with thousands of small groups and health evangelism. 27,000 members were mobilized to pray and to study the Bible with at least 10 people each. That makes a total of 270,000 people for four months in preparation for the meetings. The evangelistic series was in two stages, one week from Costa Rica and another week from Nicaragua. In both, we made provision for the hearing impaired. Three Seven-day Adventist TV channels and 15 radio stations covered the event live, reaching an audience of about 23 million people in all Central American countries and even in the US. The week-long event came with challenges. On the final weekend of preaching, Something supernatural happened. A large panel decorating the stage suddenly flew across the building and broke two television screens and several chairs. There was no wind inside the building. Thankfully, no one was hurt. It was a serious reminder that evangelist, evangelist is not a picnic. We are in a spiritual battle. Of course, the Bible already tells us that God, God has the victory and we are on the winning side. That was also the case in Costa Rica and Nicaragua. That week concluded with 3,420 new very well-prepared souls for the kingdom who were baptized. This year also I visited the most atheist and agnostic country in Latin America, Uruguay, where pastors are working along church members in an effort to share the truth of the gospel to a very secular society. The event concluded with 34 people baptized, accepting Jesus as their savior. From there, I flew directly to Bolivia, where another nationwide evangelistic effort was made during Holy Week in the month of April. The emphasis for months was on Bible study with 35,000 people studying the Bible, mostly in small groups. I had the privilege of preaching in different cities every night. The event started on a Sabbath morning, where we had rain and hail in the world's highest soccer stadium near the city of La Paz, 14,000 feet altitude. But 25,000 members and 4,000 visitors attended the event all day long. 70 portable baptistries stood in the center of the field in the shape of a giant cross. The baptism was with hot water brought from the hot spring with a huge tanker truck that traveled from distant places. And we concluded in the city of Cochabamba. And at the end of the week, we had 7,237 baptisms and more took place in the following weeks. Well, in May, I had the opportunity to travel to North Madrid in Spain. 
a small congregation that we helped to establish in the last two years, but now they grew up to about 90 members. Finally, after pandemic, they opened the doors to worship to the community. They decided to do it, inaugurating the new sanctuary and the new baptistry with a one-week evangelistic series. And they brought 27 visitors, friends, and neighbors. 14 of them came to the front responding to the last Sabbath baptismal appeal. More than two years ago, a committed layman invited Jose and Elena to Spaniards to a special program in one of our churches. While this couple were watching a spiritual stuff for a while, and this layman had a brilliant idea to ask me to send a short greeting video to this couple via WhatsApp, which I did. Since then, they began to study the Bible with the local pastor. They attended faithfully every night of the series, and I had the privilege to baptize Jose and Elena the last Sabbath of the meetings. Yes, evangelism works in secular, postmodern Europe and around the world. By the way, the only evangelism that doesn't work is the one that is not done. You, dear partners, make each story possible through your prayers, generosity, and devotion to God's mission.